I think the last 10 years, um, at the start of the support from USAID, we had a very difficult situation where the provision of services, distribution, um, certain pro uh, warehousing and distribution to the health facilities across the country was a very difficult exercise in terms of uh, resources at medical stores, which includes also the human resources as well as the equipment to take those goods to the countryside. Well, I, I graduated almost 10 years ago now, and I remember as a junior doctor, we used to have, um, exp we, used to, we used to encounter situations where there would be stockouts of, of drugs on the ward. In 2005, we had uh, just about uh, three uh, major centers that were providing uh, ART uh, and ARVs, the two central hospitals and uh, uh, University Teaching Hospital here in Lusaka. There were stockouts throughout the country. Uh, test kits were stocked out for anywhere from six months to nine months at a time. I think the project uh, has done a lot. And uh, in terms of um, uh, the Ministry of Health, the Ministry of Health, um, we have at the moment a system or systems, uh, logistic systems, that I think will continue even uh, after the project has gone. We supported this country to, to really move in a very quick way to take on patients and to get to the hundreds of thousands that we have now. Uh, we do have uh, a situation where even the least person that takes care of the commodities at the health facility is promoted in their knowledge base. Based on their own, they have resulted in improved management of health commodities by way of ensuring that there is increased availability of data. All new graduates that come online are cognizant of how to manage commodities and ensuring that commodities are readily available. We're talking about an average of about 80 plus in most facilities with of uh, medical and uh, surgical supplies. We have um, now, uh, in terms of uh, the ART service, so decentralized, and even the supply chain system itself, so decentralized. When you transition, it's always important to ensure that um, you don't discard what worked or what has worked. I think we need to make sure that we nurture and treasure things which worked and develop on them. I would want or I'd be very happy to see a situation where if somebody were to take up um, the incorporation of system uh, supply chain management into the curriculum, especially for medical students, because by the time they're graduating, if they can have a mindset to say, okay, when I'm on the ward, it's not just about me and the patient, but I need to take an interest on how the drugs that I'm going to prescribe are going to uh, reach the facility. And we currently have three hubs that are running, and uh, we plan to have at least 10 hubs uh, in the next couple of years. Capacity building should be ongoing. What we need to rethink is uh, to ensure that the capacity building modes we are choosing are more of on-the-job training rather than most of these classroom trainings which sometimes tend to take health workers away from their workstation. So we are going to have to ensure that we have continuity in this service and hopefully Zambia will forge ahead and there will be very reduced if any stockouts in this country. Beyond just uh, developing uh, systems, there is a component deliberately uh, to ensure that uh, as Minister of Health, as Zambia, we are able to sustain this.